I don't know if you hear that, but there's a lightning thunderstorm outside, so if the lights start flickering or whatever, you know why. <laughs> so, um, hello everyone, uh, thank you for tuning in, my name is David and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to do a, not a comic book haul video, if you're a regular viewer of mine, you probably know about my monthly comic book haul videos where I tell you guys about all the comic books I picked up for the, the, the past month, you know. Tell me guys things like, uh, oh, look, look at the cover art, you know, what do I think about the story so far, what do I think about the series as a whole and stuff like that. I haven't done one in like a couple months, so you're probably wondering, hey David, what, what, what happened, you know, people are asking me in, in my comment section and stuff like that, why the heck have you stopped making the, the comic book haul videos, it's because of Lent, uh, Lent, if you don't know, it's the 40 days and 40 nights before Easter, uh, for us Catholics, we tend to like give up something during that time. It's, it's a kind of optional thing, but uh, mo most people do it anyway. It's kind of like a sacrifice for the season. Um, so a lot of people give up eating meat, no more smoking or drinking soda. They don't like, gamble for the 40 days and 40 nights and stuff like that. I decide to give up comic books for the season of Lent. Okay, so for 40 nights and 40 nights before Easter, you know, I was in comic book withdrawal. Uh, I didn't read comics, didn't watch I didn't, I didn't read comics, I didn't buy comics, and when Easter came I was like, hallelujah, I can start, really start um, reading comic books and buying comic books again. It's kind of unfortunate because during that time, and it was tough by the way, it was tough uh, to, but it was for God and whatever, you know. Um, uh, the Convergence storyline in the DC Universe started, and I was like, oh my, I can't pick up the first wave of, the, of, the, of these comics and stuff like that. But uh, I did start buying comic books again. It's not enough to make a comic book haul video yet, so I'm going to do this one in, in, in place of it, okay? Um, today we're going to talk about Smallville Season 11, the continuity storyline. Alright, so uh, I got all the comics right there. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Smallville started as a TV series on the WB, now called the CW. It lasted for 10 seasons, <laughs> which is crazy, because by the time the, uh, the show ended, it took up half my life. I was like 20-something years old at the time. Um, and pretty much was the origin story of Superman. It was Clark Kent before he became Superman. So before the, the blue suit, the cape, the glasses and all that, he was just Clark Kent in high school and college. You know, he moved to Metropolis looking for a job and it was all his initial adventures and meeting other people from the DC Universe. The show had its ups and downs. A lot of, you know, unnecessary teen drama was in the show. Um, uh, but it had its good parts, you know. He rounded up the Justice League. He met Martian Manhunter, Green Arrow. He met Cyborg and Aquaman, and and even the characters from the future, you know, like the the Legion of Superheroes, like Lightning Lad and Booster Gold and such. It was it was a good show. I I enjoyed it. Okay, it was a big part of my life. So you're probably asking, what's so special about this Smallville continuity storyline? This is a multiverse related storyline, okay? It involves the New 52 and everything before that. Every single um, multiverse in the DC Universe was in peril and basically it's up to these guys from the Smallville Universe to to save them all, okay? Like every single universe, multiverse, okay, was, uh, was devoured by these alien interdimensional beings or whatever and the only one, the only universe that's left is the Smallville Universe. So, uh, you know, Superman rounded up all the characters. So we're talking about this, the Legion of Superheroes, the Justice League. We got characters from the Teen Titans and Young Justice, you know, even the Legion of Doom and stuff like that. They all teamed up together, making their final stand, beat these aliens, and hopefully they bring back the rest of the DC Universe, okay? That's how cool it is. <laughs> so um, here's what, how we're going to do this video. I'm going to show you the cover art, because I really do love the cover art of these uh, four issues right here this mini-series, and then I'm going to show you some of my favorite panels. There's a lot of panels in here that I think are like, they would make like good posters, you know? I, I would love to just, you know, make a huge picture on my wall or something, have a big painting or whatever, because some, some of the artwork in here is actually fantastic, all right? Uh, spoilers ahead, I'm going to show you like actual, you know, panels in the uh, actual artwork for, from the comics, so just, 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 just forewarn you right there, all right? I'm going to... I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you backstory if, I, if, I, if it's necessary. Um, after the show ended, it started out in comic book form, of course, but it started out as digital comics first. Each of these issues pretty much round up like three or four of the digital comics, okay? So one issue has three or four of the digital comics which uh, came out before the printed issues, alright? And, uh, you know, the comic book series continued on with, with, the, with the characters, you know, they brought Batman and Wonder Woman and Green Lantern in and such. Uh, anyway, I think I talked enough. Let's take, go ahead and take a look at the first issue right here. 
Smallville Continuity, issue number one. It's got... <laughs> look, they even have Tom Welling's likeness. Tom Welling was the dude who played Clark Kent in the, uh, in the TV series. And, you know, it uh, look, 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 looks like this one is focused on the Legion of Doom. Uh, no, no, Legion, Legion of Superheroes. So we got uh, Lightning Lad, Booster Gold down there. Satana, who made an appearance on, on, on a show. So, yeah, this is a very cool, cool cover. Um, this is my favorite panel in here. I, I bookmarked it. Um, it's pretty much the characters uh, standing together in one room. So uh, up there we see Blue Beetle, Miss Martian. Over here we see Green, Green Arrow. And uh, in this universe, Batman does not have Robin. Uh, he has uh, Nightwing first. Okay, and Lightning is being is uh, is Barbara Gordon. Pretty weird, right? But yeah, that that's how the uh, the Smallville universe is. Martian Manhunter right here. He made an appearance a lot in, in the TV show. I actually met the dude at Smallville Comic Con. Uh, the guy who played him in the in, in in the TV show. Okay, so there it is. Um, Smallville continuity issue number two. Looks like it's focused more on the characters from the show. So Michael Rosenbaum played Lex Luthor on the show. Tom Welling, of course. You know that's his, that's that's his likeness, man. They took his his pic picture. Um, Tess Mercer is uh, actually some type of Mr. Smith-ish type character. You know from from the Matrix. <laughs> um, uh, Emil Hamilton, Allison Mack played Chloe Sullivan on the show, and her cousin Lois Lane. All right. So I got two pictures that I bookmarked in here that I really really like. First of all, we have uh, the team-up of Lex Luthor and Superman. Superman is like, please help us, you know. And uh, the next page over is <laughs> Superman giving his Braveheart speech right there in front of everyone. So you see all the characters like, oh, actually, this would make an even better poster than the other one. Look at that. It's got Batman in the front right there, Black Canary, Superboy, Martian Manhunter, Wonder Woman's right there, Blue Beetle, Booster Gold. Oh, my gosh. So... Pretty much gives a speech right there, and then they're like, "Charge! <laughs> let's go get him!" You know, so the let's let's get these aliens before the uh, he devours this universe also. So there it is. Um, issue number three probably is my favorite cover out of these four. So we see Star Girl up there, and uh, Superboy, Miss Martian, Speedy. Um, down here we got Blue Beetle, Impulse. You know. Um, Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now, I got one picture in here that's worth looking at. Oh yeah, Tess Mercer, Lex Luthor's sister, turns into Red Tornado. It's like, what the heck? <laughs> you know? Uh, oh yeah, Chloe Sullivan is pregnant, okay? Uh, Green Arrow and uh, Lois Lane's cousin got together on the show, and they continued that in, in, the, in the comic book series. I love this picture right here. Actually, this would make a, you know, just the right size for a poster, uh, like a movie poster look. Uh, we, we stand together. We fight as one, said by Batman. Okay, there's Green Lantern in the back right there with uh, Wonder Woman, Red Tornado right there, you know, Superman, of course. Pretty awesome. And there's one of the aliens that, that show up. He's like the juggernaut in, the, uh, in this particular storyline. Okay, onward. Final issue right here. Oh, here's a big spoiler alert since it's on the cover right here. That's Nightwing, okay? Nightwing, a.k.a. Barbara Gordon, actually took over as the Blue Lantern. Uh, there, there were some characters, you know, that were introduced at the beginning of the series and stuff like that, who actually died. Um, uh, one of them was the Blue Lantern, who was introduced in one of the, the, the comic book storylines, okay? And uh, the ring actually went to Nightwing, a.k.a. Barbara Gordon, all right? Uh, here we also see Martian Manhunter, Blue Tornado, Jon Stewart as the Green Lantern. Uh, down here we got Batman and Green Arrow right there, Wonder Woman, Supergirl, awesome, right? With Tom Welling right in the middle. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny. I keep saying Tom Welling instead of uh, instead of Superman. Um, so in here, the battle is won. What did you did, What did you expect? Did you expect the 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 uh, enemy would win? You know, the heroes of course would won. And here, I love this picture right here. It is actually Bruce Wayne embracing Barbara Gordon for the last time before she goes off into space and does her, you know, her lantern duties and such. Okay, beautiful, beautiful moment in, in this comic right here. Um, so there she is, about to leave. I don't know much about the Green Lantern lore. Okay, so I don't know who these these that squirrel-looking character is and such. So uh, I'm sure you'll comment this in the in the comment section. And be like, hey, David, I, 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 you don't know who that is. 
You call yourself a DC fan? F you, David! <laughs> so, uh, this is a beautiful moment, and I, this is the reason why I think that... I, I think the series should end here, okay? The comic book series, this stop right here, would be absolutely perfect. There it is. Chloe Sullivan and uh, Oliver Queen's uh, baby. Alright? They were like, what should we name him? Jonathan. That's right. Uh, based on uh, Clark's father, who was a huge part of the series, and uh, uh, big of the one of the reasons why Clark Kent is such a good person and all that, you know? And look at that. I don't have friends. I have family. <laughs> so there it is. All the characters lying, uh, uh, standing right there. I think that's Bruce Wayne right there. Uh, introducing a new baby into the world. All right. A lot of lives were lost, but uh, we gain a precious one right here. All right. And then, uh, and then Lois Lane and and Superman <laughs> get all freaky. <laughs> and uh, that's how the show. That's how it should end. I think that if they stop making the Smallville comic books and just end the franchise right here, it'd be perfect. A lot of people would say that the TV series final ending was a uh, was a little disappointing. This is perfect. If they stop right here with this ultimate final battle in which the Smallville universe actually has a huge impact on the entire DC world in general, okay, everything DC's history, then I think that that'd be the perfect place to to leave leave off the whole series. All right, if they continue it, whatever. <laughs> Uh, the, these artists and stuff like that need to make money somehow, right? <laughs> so, whatever, okay? Um, so anyway, that's all I have to say. Uh, I really enjoyed the Smallville franchise, and if you haven't checked out the comic books, there's a lot more out there. Um, so, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching, people. I'll make more comic book videos uh, in the future. We're going to go back to the comic book halls, maybe like next month or so. Maybe in a couple of weeks. I, I, I'll, I don't know, okay? Um, anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching, people, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.